Good morning, folks. This is Jeff again. It's early on a Sunday morning, about 6.30. And I've got my middle son and his uh, wife and children at home. But they're all still in the bed. So I thought I would come out here while they're still asleep. And connect the runs in my PV array. Uh, the interconnecting wires between the panels. <clears throat> I've got all my fuses out for all the strings and the breakers off, so I don't have to worry about picking up any load, which there's no load in here anyway, other than the lightning arresters. But uh, yesterday, I was able to get my MC4 connectors put on and tied into my start and end of my arrays or my strings i did that yesterday morning while they were sleeping so let's see what i can get accomplished today So I have all my strings, wires tied in. I still gotta strap this up, gotta get a clamp. But one thing I thought I'd mention to you, these panels, I don't have these interconnections done yet. This is what's next. This will go to here and a fair right will go on each one and I'll tie these off somehow with some tie wrap. And I'm using tie wraps that have the little metal clip instead of the plastic clip i'm hoping that will hold up a little better uh, but if you look at these mc4s now as the sun comes up these panels will be putting out power with nothing hooked up so positive i mean this is the negative the other side is the positive so there's actually going to be power on this panel up to 50 volts but the uh, metal parts of the connectors where they're made up are recessed. So you really don't have to worry about getting shocked as long as you don't get yourself in series or poke something in there. You're not going to be getting shocked. Uh, when I connected these MC4 connectors up, like, let's see, there's one, and there's a negative one right there, and then there's a positive one right here next to it. So this positive, the red one, is the end of my 2A string, and the negative one is the uh, beginning of my 3A string. So I've got six strings all together in this array. Two strings will be combined together to make source circuit one, two strings for source circuit two, and two strings for source circuit three. But uh, it was rainy most of the day yesterday. Got to spend some time with my other sons as well. I see the cows have come back out here to make another bigger mess. Uh, I filled this hole up yesterday. They've dug it back out and they scattered more dirt on my panel. So I gotta handle that. Just threw it all over my ladder. So I'm gonna Come straighten this back out with the tractor later and then maybe try some cayenne pepper and uh, some black pepper on there. See if that'll discourage them until I can get my fence up, which I don't really want to do until after I get my trenching done, which I hope to get done next week. At any rate, 
that's where we are. Well, let's see if I can put this together while we're on video. That is the uh, fee that's the the male plastic part, but the inside part is female. That's the positive. And this is the negative. The plastic part is female, but the contact part is male. So let's see if I can, I don't know if I can put this together on this video or not, we'll see. There's a little rubber piece right here that's going to seal the water out. So what you got to do, you got to make sure that these clips, they snap in a little slot right here until they click in place. And if you ever had to take it apart, you'll either have to use a screwdriver or a special tool to slide in there and separate it. But uh, let's see. All right, that's in there good. There's no gap where it's plugged in. And uh, we don't see any of the rubber. So I'll call that a good connection. Okay, I'm tying the... Uh, I'm trying to get the zip ties to tie in this machine. Worked on that one. That's a pretty handy little zip tie cutter. Tightens them up and uh, cuts them at the same time. That does pretty good. I'll dry this off, it's pretty wet to date. And then the ferrite. All right, that's the way I'm gonna do uh, each interconnect between the panels and it's, it's working out pretty good there's no real tension on this uh, cable probably bent a little bit more than I'd like but it's the only way to get it together and I'll be putting a ferrite on the positive cable of each panel and what the ferrite is supposed to do is on rapid current changes uh high frequency current changes it's supposed to resist by creating a magnetic field to dampen the rise in a in a uh, impulse anyway we'll see all right i've got all the uh all the strings connected together through the panels and the string feeder wires coming in here. So everything's hooked up out of the array. Including the ferrites. Probably gonna do a little bit more tidying up. But uh, let's start checking some voltages. This is string 1A. One B, two, two A, that's volts in DC. It's about, uh, what time is it? 8.27 AM, a bit overcast. So, I'm going to start just closing the fuses in. I didn't hear anything pop. That's a good sign. Let's turn these on. Okay, so that should be hot down to this... Uh, 
terminal strip here. This is where my underground will come in. Okay, 300 and roughly 318 volts DC on an overcast day. The lightning arresters are all on. So we're generating uh, voltage. The sun is uh, way off over there. So it's going to be a while before it gets over the panel. Pretty overcast sky. But I don't have any load hooked to it, so I'm not going to have any power from it. Not for a few more days. I hope to put the underground in this week and maybe maybe energize some things this weekend. We'll see. But for now, other than a little tidying up, a few more tie wraps and clips and straps, this array is finished. So I'm going to shut her back down. All right.